This Pentium 4 was one of the first GPUs that supported hyper-threading technology, a technology that's still used by many modern Intel CPUs. But what is hyper-threading and how does it work? First of all, hyper-threading is Intel's implementation of simultaneous multi-threading, aka SMT. AMD has also recently introduced their own SMT version, but unlike Intel, they didn't give it a cool name and just called it SMT. So again, hyper-threading is just a cool name that Intel uses for their implementation of SMT. Now let's see what SMT does and how it works. A modern CPU has a certain amount of CPU cores, ranging from 1 to about 10 on the really high end. A CPU core is the part of the CPU that actually computes, the part that processes the data. A dual-core CPU has two of them, which means that a dual-core CPU is effectively two CPUs in one chip. A 10-core CPU could be seen as 10 CPUs in one chip. Now let's take a look at how a CPU usually processes data. In this example, you can see that we've got a single core CPU, just to keep things simple. This CPU takes an input, a task, also known as a thread, processes it, and after that, it gives you an output. After this thread has been processed, it starts processing the next one. If you want to make the CPU faster, this means increase the throughput of the CPU, you can do two things. You could make the CPU core faster, so that it can deal with threads more quickly, or you could increase the amount of CPU cores, so that the CPU will be able to deal with multiple threads at the same time. Now, either way, there is an efficiency issue. If I pause the animation right now, you can see what I'm talking about. This part of the CPU core has apparently completed its task and is now doing nothing. It's just sitting there waiting for the next thread to come. It's wasting time. This is where SMT comes in. Simultaneous multi-threading utilizes a smart scheduling system which allows the CPU core to start processing the next thread while the first one isn't done yet. This way, the CPU can process data more quickly because parts of the CPU core are no longer wasting their time idling. All of this means that the operating system of the computer can now throw more threads at the CPU. In fact, the OS can now send two threads at the same time to a single core CPU. This is also why in Task Manager, a single core CPU with SMT shows up as a dual core CPU. The OS thinks it has two cores. It is very important though to realize that it is still a single core CPU. Of course, it is also possible to have multiple cores and SMT. So there you go. Now you know what SMT, or if you like Intel, hyper-threading is. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.